Netflix picked up 12 points because they raised the fee a dollar for, for new people. That means the stock is ahead of itself because the growth cohort is in a bear market. So I would ask that you wait for Netflix. Hey, listen, if it goes up, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. I'm telling you what's the odds on favor. All right, Eli Lilly is down an extraordinary amount off a drug that wasn't even in my numbers. You want to own Eli Lilly for its diabetes drug. You want to own it for its Alzheimer's formulation. I said when it was down 10, you had to buy, buy, buy. I reiterate, if you can get it under 80, just go buy it. At 28.29, I said, EMC is probably done. I took a lot of heat on Twitter from people who said, hey, you cut me off before 33. I want you to grow up, okay? I want people to grow up. This is not what you do. If you're an arbitrageur, you can hold on to EMC. If you're not an arbitrageur, you're supposed to ring the register. Again, odds on favorites. People on Twitter understand. I am literally just giving you a 35-year compendium of what has worked. If something deviates, hey, congratulations. When you talk about growth and what's not working, you should be thinking about GoPro and Amberella and Mobileye. I'm, I'm sorry, I know that people own this, these stocks. I know that they are loved. But the problem is the highest growth cohort is going down and they represent, I'd say, the poster children of highest growth. To get more of Jim Cramer's investing ideas, as well as a peek at other stocks he owns in his multi-million dollar charitable trust portfolio, subscribe to Action Alerts Plus. Sign up for Action Alerts Plus at GetCramerEdge.com. That's GetCramerEdge.com.